Hey, what's up boys and girls? You made it back to another movie night. I gotta say I'm pretty impressed because last time's movie was a little intense. Anyway, I'm much more prepared now. I've got some, some stuff here. I've got, I've got a friend. Um, he's gonna help me not to be so scared. Hey, be strong, okay? And I've also been memorizing our Bible table verse. John 16, says this. I have told you these things so that in me, you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. And so, I think I'm ready for another scary movie based on a story straight from the Bible. Tonight's movie is called The Mystery Box. It's rated Y for yikes. Okay, this is based on a story from the Bible about the Ark of the Covenant. Do you guys know what the Ark of the Covenant is? Okay, quick backstory. The Ark of the Covenant is this ancient box that God instructed Moses to build. And the Israelites, they would carry the Ark around pretty much everywhere. This box was where God's presence rested, which made it really important and really powerful. But one day, the Israelites were fighting an evil army called the Philistines, and the Philistines stole the Ark. This is where the movie starts. Are you ready? Buckle up. Okay, I think this thing is recording now. What's up, world? It's the Philistines! World's most undefeated army right here. Take that, Israelite. Hey, mm. look what we stole from those Israelite losers. Big mistake. The Ark of the Covenant is where God's power and presence rests, but they don't understand how God's power or presence work at all. They think they can just do whatever they want and nothing bad will happen. Boys and girls, these Philistines should be afraid. Get ready. About to get ugly. Look at me, I'm standing right next to the scary Israelite box. <laughs> oh, it's the Ark of the Covenant. I'm so scared. I have an idea. Let's put Dagon in front of it. <laughs> okay, so Dagon was an idol, which means he was a fake image of God that the Philistines worshiped instead of the one true God. And by putting that idol next to the box where God's presence was resting, that was the ultimate disrespect. Check it out, guys. Looks like the Israelite God isn't so tough. What are you doing, man? Pick it up! Bro, Dagon like fell over. I think the Israelite God pushed him. Come on, man, pick it up. Quit being such a scaredy cat. <laughs> but that part is true though. The uh, idol kept falling over. As many times as they would try to stand it up, it just knocked right back down. Let's keep watching. That bark is freaking me out. I feel like it's gonna do something bad to me. What? What are you staring at? Oh my gosh, your face, bro. It's all bumpy. My face, my beautiful face. That's so disgusting. Okay, more scary stuff, but also true stuff. In 1 Samuel 5, the Bible says that because the Philistines stole the ark and disrespected God, they all started breaking out in tumors, which are giant bumps under the skin. Boys and girls, God was not messing around. By the time he was done, every Philistine was scared. Look what he did to my face! Look what it did to my face! Do something! Get rid Get of it! Get out of here! We should have never stolen I'm this! I'm so scared! We're bad people! Woof! Boys and girls, that was intense! Crazy story. But boys and girls, it reminds me of something I read in the Bible a lot. What you might have seen too is a lot of times the Bible tells us to fear God. Have you ever read that or heard that before? Well, maybe you have and maybe you ask yourself, how am I supposed to fear God if he's asking me to trust him? Well, that is a great question, boys and girls. And I wanna tell you something. When the Bible talks about the fear of God, it's not talking about wanting to run away from God or feeling unsafe with him. Instead, Fear of God means that we are in awe of his power and we have respect for his presence. And the movie we just watched, those people didn't have respect or honor for his power or presence. 
Instead, they were kind of making fun of who God was. They got on the wrong side of God, and that really is scary. James 2.19 says this, You say you have faith, for you believe that there is one God. Good for you. Even the demons believe, and they tremble in terror. Here's what that verse means. The demons, see, they're on the wrong side of God. They are going against God, and that, that's scary. But we are on the right side of God. Because the Bible says that when we draw close to God, God draws close to us, and he calls us his children which means we don't have to be afraid of him. We can trust him and have respect for his power. So how can we respect God? Well, here's a few things you can do, boys and girls. You can talk to God. You can read the Bible. You can stand up in worship and sing to God. You can believe and follow his instructions. And you can remember our Bible table verse where Jesus promises that no matter how big the trouble is, he is bigger. Let's say our big idea together. Are you guys ready? Okay, stand up on your feet if you're ready. Let me see. Okay, he's ready, she's ready, you're ready, you're ready. Great, you guys are ready. Let's count to three. One, two, three. <gasps> Don't panic! Trust Jesus.